of Monster Rancher 4, everyone. In the last episode, Loza took his first loss in quite a while, but we gave everybody a week off to kind of reset and get their bearings, and... Hmm. I didn't realize there was a tag match tonight. I'm give it a shot. I don't think that we're actually going to pull anything off here, but we're going to give it a shot. Yeah. Okay, so we'll give... We'll give Lowe's and Ryu the, the week off again. So, okay, but... Uh, Aerith can sandbag, and Heckhound needs to work on his accuracy. Yeah. And Angle needs to... We still don't know what we're doing with him, so we'll keep him going on his speed. Anyway, um... So, I don't know, man. We're we're kind of we're kind of in a rut here, which is why I gave everybody a week off, sort of recharge their batteries. This is also why I don't ever plan their training more than that one week in advance, because oftentimes it okay. Slow down, thank you. Um, because oftentimes I have to change it, like doing the same training schedule rotation no matter how long it is it just makes it seem like y you won't be ready for when something un unexpected happens you know so why are you frustrated you're doing fine Aerith. friggin relax just keep smacking that sandbag okay the last time ryu and loza were in a tag match they did really well together in fact the last time they were in a tag match ryu was underclassed. He was only a B. So now he's an A and he's the lead. So hopefully they can hang with this class and both get some monster stars. One can hope. We just always must keep pressing forward. Oh my god. Oh, they're so powerful. They're so powerful. How are you supposed to balance your stats that well? Am I missing something? Should I just adventure for another five hours and get some special training gear? Is that what I should be doing? Finding medallions? I mean, I can always do that out. Holy fuck. I can always do that off camera. Or I could do another special hour and a half episode. When did he tag out? I didn't even notice. Oh, that's useful. All right. Speak to the face. Oh, that wasn't bad. Should have used my talents though. Beak is actually a pretty garbage move. Inefficient and not very powerful. Talents, however. Ah, oh, wow, those are pretty shitty. Never mind. Alright. Haha. -ha. Go ahead and attack me with your 0% chance of hitting me. Do it again. Never mind. We'll do the team up instead. Talents to the face. Flying kick. You're out. Talents to the face. Wow, that is. Weak sauce. But we're composed again. Go ahead, try to attack me with your 0%. Come on. Give it a shot. I'm just standing here. Doing nothing. There we go, another team up. Fire Cyclone, baby. Boom, and boom. Oh yeah. And talents to the forehead. Man, these two work well together. Ah, huh. I wish there was, like, an official tag team <laughs> ladder or something. Would be awesome. I would love to see Ryu and Loza go all the way. Ah, they do- they work so well together, it's stupid. Alright, who's next? Who's our next victims? Because I don't get overly arrogant at all. Oh, God. Alright, well, we took out Jaguar without much of an issue in an earlier episode. Fly High is going to be a bit more of a but because of his dodge rates. Yeah, he's... Yep, he's got some accuracy. All right, let's sub out since Loza hits more accurately. Oh, damn. Jesus. Oops, wrong move. Well, it worked, so that's good. Ow. Oh, that was weak. Damn it. 
it's still weak. I didn't mind going for the... Oh, shit, he's composed. Okay, so we're just gonna hang back. Ha ha ha! Suck it! All right, he's no longer composed. Well, because he's dead, so... Come on. No, no, no. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it! Yes! All right. Where's fire kick? Whoop! Boom! And whoop! Boom! All right. Tag out, because now we need the power group here. Final fire. Oh, God. All right, where's the... Ooh, even better. Oh, where's my... Fire Cyclone is a 99% chance. Yeah, baby. Man, you guys work so well together. Oh, man. I love it. Ah, I'm telling you, I think the group... Uh, the group battles are really the key to getting everyone's stars up there, you know? Ah. Ah, oh, it's very satisfying. Ah, uh, Biscuit. Why? Alright. Uh, final five. It also helps that, every, that my peep's guts are at 99 instead of 50 or whatever. Big horn, your offense is... Your defense rather is stupid. Let's get our power hitter in here. Wow, even that's not hitting for very much. Go for an accurate attack. Boof. And hopefully this is a kill shot. Almost. We gotcha. Take. Yes. Let's take it now. All right. Sub out. Biscuit, you son of a bitch. Uh, this is a gamble because we're going for a power attack. Oh, it hit anyway. And now he's on fire. Even better. And I like seeing that. All right. Give me an accurate attack, baby. Why are you timid? Why, after all that, are you timid? So dumb. Oh, Loza. End the shit. Really? Loza? There you go, buddy. Well played. Oh, I wish I... No offense to the five who took us through the story, but I wish I had had Loza and Ryu for the story. We would have been golden. Well, of course, I couldn't have used a phoenix that early, but anyway, we still would have been golden if I had them. Ah, that was satisfying. Man, those two could do a lot in the adventure stages. I wonder how much I'm missing out by not doing the adventure stages. I should research also, among many other things, how to get medallions more often, if there's even a way, so I can get better training gadgets. All right, Aerith, we'll give you a couple rests. And same with Hackhound. Angle will be fine. He can train one more time. All right, Loza. We need to get you on your accuracy. Oops. Ryu needs to keep working on his buck. Right? Yes. Alright, go team. Wait, let's check the calendar real quick. So, no, let's make this Loza because the Loza has a shot at getting to the S class. Probably won't, but he has a shot. Okay, that'll be Aerith's third and Heckhound's second. Oh, right. I actually went through them before. <laughs> right. Because Aerith will probably get to A class here. Five on five? Ooh. Let's try it. Oh, man. That'll be a good week. That'll be fun. Get everyone's stars up. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, everyone's doing fine. Engel's power is starting to drop a little bit, but he's pretty powerful to begin with. I think this will just be good for him. Engel's speed is so high at this point that it'll probably be very hard for him to be hit. I just hope I'm not wasting time by giving him too much speed so in battle he, like... 
Like, I, I'm hoping I'm not wasting so much on so much time on speed that I'm neglecting his power and accuracy. But I think he'll be all right. I do know, as you can probably tell, the longer I play this, the less and less life and defense seem to matter for anything. But I wonder if I'm in a minority or if this is just an alternate strategy instead of trying to, uh, instead of trying to be more balanced in your stats. Okay, Aerith, you get to rest. Yep, you're still on target. You get to rest and you get to rest since you three are in competition tonight. Okay. Ryu's finally learning how to read. Took him long enough, but he's on it. Good job, Ryu. You have earned yourself a squid. Who's a good bird? You're the good bird. I, I'm gonna try not to talk baby. I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to baby talk Ryu because I have a feeling he would eat me if I tried to pull on him what I pulled on Angle. All right. I wonder if it's weird for my viewer Chris Angle since that's who that tiger is named after. If it's weird that he's hearing me baby talk his own name, uh, it's probably weird. Anyway. All right. Three on three. I always forget which is the. I always forget how these battles work, and I mentioned this in a previous episode, that there's team battles and there's group battles, and one of them means you, one and one will face each other, and then two and two will face each other, and then three and three will face... Okay, this is the one and one will face each other. So, Aerith faces Amur, Hackhound faces Jumbo, and Engel faces Syria. And it's a best of three. But then there's another one where it's elimination. So one will face everybody until one is eliminated. And then two will face everyone until two is eliminated. And so on and so forth. Welp. Good job, Aerith. All right, there's one victory. Okay, Hackhound, come on, buddy. If you win, then it doesn't even matter how Engel performs. You can do it. My computer is freaking the fuck out, so I'm hoping this footage is actually getting recorded. It looks like it's getting recorded. I guess if you're hearing this and watching this, you know it got recorded. I don't know what my computer is doing. But I have Windows 10, so knowing that, it's probably downloading some bullshit updates. Alright, come on, Heckhound. Oh, nice. Uh, no, there's no reason to cease the attack. He's already pretty accurate, and we have garbage speed. Let's just finish him. Good job. All right, so angles doesn't matter. We've won this competition. Too bad it just doesn't end it and let me move on, because there's no reason for these two monsters to fight. I mean, it's not like having the third victory is going to get us any bonus points, and it's not like Engel actually gains experience or anything from the... Holy crap, man, his speed is like... Wow! Sira... Sir... Sayira only has a 3% chance of hitting me. He's a friggin' Xan, and they have high accuracy to begin with. That is bonkers. It do Oh, okay. Come on, Prox. Good god. Um, shit. It does tell me I have to work on Engel's accuracy. So we finally have a goal for him, because his attack power is clearly decent. It's not great, but it's decent enough. But I gotta get his accuracy up, since his best is a 71. Ah, Sayera would have dodged it if he hadn't tried to counter. Ah, oh, you dumbass. All right. Good job. So we'll pull up Engel's accuracy count after this. After we get back to the farm and see where he stands. Good job, everybody. And that earns everybody a star, too, which is even better. Even better. Because now we can sign Aerith up for the official B-class tournament and get her promoted to the A-class, I think, which will... Be excellent. Let's see. Yes, Aerith goes to the A class. Now, I'm still... Huh, I want to sign her up for this, but then it's going to take Engel forever to get promoted. Okay. Yeah, 
we're, we're in good shape here. Okay. So we're going to find Engel. See his info here. His accuracy is 16, so we need to get Engel's accuracy to 20. So I've got three of them working on their accuracy, which I don't like doing per se, but got to do it. Okay, so Rayu, go ahead and rest. Aerith, and you're hungry. Um, work on your power. Loza, you rest. Heckhound, work on your accuracy. And Engel, work on your accuracy. They're probably not going to be in good shape after this since half of them are hungry. Well, not bad. Actually, pretty good. Aerith's hungry and still managed to get a 90%. Let's praise her before we feed anybody. Hi, Aerith. Praise. You done good. You done good. Nice bangs. They're very cute. Have some food. Let's see. Oh, yeah, how filling is a melon? Keep giving it to her at, like, 60%. Now she's closer to about 50%. Yeah, filled her up. Cool. Okay, you're good. You're good. And, oh, wow. Angle. I'm sorry. Have a beef. You earned it. That's much better. All right, and Heckhound, you get a squid. I like giving all the monsters a week off, a full week off sometimes too. It helps me recharge my batteries too, and kind of resets my mind to what everybody's goals are and everything. Okay, this one is Loza's competition to try to earn his third monster star. If he gets it, he'll be on the track to be promoted to the S class, but I don't think he can make it. The A class is already pretty rough for him, so I'm not sure how much longer he can go. And Lowe's is a third generation, if I remember right, so... It's not like he's got a tremendous amount of uh, chance to keep going. I wonder if that means some monsters just have an upper wall. Like, I wonder if it's impossible to ever get a Tiger or a Garu class all the way up to, like, S class and beyond. Or if they're just not good enough to ever make it. That's something else I could look up, but I'm too lazy to. Also, I don't really know how well the documentation is for this game. Like, for Pokemon, you can answer any friggin' question under the sun. But, uh... I don't know if that's true for Monster Rancher. I have never looked for FAQs. I've been to, um... I went to a Monster Rancher website that a few of you actually encouraged me to go to, and I don't remember its name. I do remember it has frames. It's so old, it's a website that still uses frames shocking. So, oh man, Loza, I don't think I need to work on your accuracy anymore. Wait, I'm looking at a dragon goal, and of course I'm going to be accurate. Never mind. Stick to the plan, me. Stick to the training regimen. Accuracy 25 for Loza. One more, come on. Well done. Sun Tana just took it. He just stood there and took it. I am okay with that. Uh, looks like I'm going to be running into 20 minutes before we're done with this competition. So this will be a long episode. I know how much you guys like that. Hello, Jerome. Another dragon. Dragon Naga. Ha ha. Take the kick. Oh, wow. That was solid. Jerome clearly does not have the defense that Golem did. What a shock. I still want a Pure Naga. If I, if I had a CD that would produce a Pure Naga, I would absolutely uh, make that creature and take him as far as he could go. The Akamura dropped off a CD for me to use next time. Uh, we have a death in the family and need someone regenerated from a disc, and... 
I don't even, I can't read the disc from here, but I'll go ahead and use that disc. If we get there. But I still want to keep trying to breed rather than just pull them from discs. Oh my god, I hate that move. Ugh. Man, Loza has no defense. All it takes is like two hits and he's done. Yay! I don't care if that's move spamming. I do not care. I'm going to spam fire kick until I can't spam fire kick anymore. Which apparently is never, since fire kick took me so far. Okay, you got this, Loza. That is a pure whatever those monsters are. And even they have buttholes that are very prominent. Ugh. God. Why? Kick to the face. And now, Super Claw to the face. Er, well, I meant not Super Claw, but whatever. It worked. Yay, we got the W. Ah, another victory in the bag. With some more salmon. Those is very famous. Uh, so many competitions we've had to do. So many. Come on, load. Oh, the loading screens are killing me. Okay, so I think that means Loza hit, hit his... Yes, he hit his third monster star, so we'll sign him up for the official... Ooh... But if I do that, I can't participate in this. And if I can't participate in this, that screws over one of Ryu's stars. And one of Heckhound's stars. And one of Aerith's stars, assuming she gets promoted. Sorry, Loza. This is not gonna be your week, buddy. Even if it is Invisly. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna promote you yet. I need this competition to happen. I'm sorry. All right, Angle should be promoted this week's competition. Aerith should be promoted next week's competition. Then we'll have a week off. Then Heckhound will go to three stars. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, actually, let's take Heckhound off this because that'll be Angle's spot. Because he'll already have three stars there, okay. All right, so I have a plan. We're gonna stick to it and get some monster stars and get people promoted in the next episode. I said I was only gonna do a half recording session, but momentum is telling me not to. Two more, this is episode six of the recording session. Let's do two more and then call it. But at least for this episode, it's time to go. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for another episode.